Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer question in on the email here from Joel. Joel writes in and says, Hey Matt, thanks for all the videos. I always like to keep learning as much as I can. I do have a question. Is the Nikon D7100 still worth getting in 2018? I found a sweet deal on one that's used, so I might get it. Then again, I've wanted the 7200 for a while. Is the shooting experience going to be that much different? Should I just hold off on the 7200 for later on and get this one? I'm upgrading from a 3400, a D3400. I shoot mostly landscapes, a little street photography, and some portraits. I already have the 17 to 50 Sigma, the 35 millimeter Nikon, and the 24 to 135 Nikon, and the Sam Yang Fisheye. Help, please. Well, thanks for your question, Joel. We've been talking a lot about the 7200 and the 71 lately. Um, the easy answer is no need to get the 72 for what you're shooting. Go ahead and get the 7100. I'll tell you why. The 7100 is essentially the exact same camera as the 7200. The only real difference when they came out with the 7200 is a deeper shot buffer. And what this would impact is if you're shooting high frame rates, high frames per second shots. Uh, so if you're shooting sports or if you're shooting birds in flight or something like that where you want to shoot high frame rates and you need a deep buffer before it starts slowing down and, and needs to write to the card well the 7200 is better for that it's got that deeper buffer 7100 is still a great camera it's essentially the same camera basically the same sensor the same autofocus system the same body everything just the real difference is that deeper shot buffer so for what you're shooting landscape street photography and portraits you don't need the deeper shot buffer. Save the money. Get the 7100. You're going to get all the goodness that you get out of the 72. You're not going to miss that deeper shot buffer. You've already got some great lenses. I, of course, would, to that, add the 50mm f1.8G. But you do have the 35, so maybe that's your preference, especially if you're shooting street. Um, but some for portraits, the 50 uh, f1.8 would be the way to go, or even the 85 if you like the, the longer uh, field of view on that um, lens a little bit more compression and it's great so um, that's what i would do what would you guys do we'll throw it back to our viewing audience do you agree with me would you go with the 71 for his situation or would you go with the 72 um, let us know in the comments below what you do and why let's help out joel for his purchase thanks for writing in joel stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com